Hi everyone, it's Liam here from biggerplate.com. Joining you today from Lima, Peru and answering mind mapping questions from our global member community. Now last week during a mind manager training session with a client, I was asked, how do I avoid these relationship lines creating a mess in my mind maps? Well, I thought this was an interesting question. I think it's a pretty good solution in mind manager. So I thought I'd record a quick video to show how you can avoid messy relationships in your mind manager maps. Relationship lines are a great way to highlight connections between topics that are located in different areas of your mind map. For example, in this SWOT mind map, we could highlight a connection between the people topic in this area of the map and the people topic down in this area to make this visibly stand out in our mind map. However, as my client was experiencing, if you add a few more of these relationship lines into the mind map, it can become problematic. For example, the people topic appears in all four main sections of our mind map. And if we start adding relationship lines between all of these areas, it's actually creating more confusion than clarity. So here's an alternative method that can help you keep your mind maps tidy and your connections clear. Instead of using a relationship line to connect these two topics, we can instead insert a hyperlink from one topic to another. You simply click insert hyperlink, select topic in this map, and then select whichever topic in the mind map you want to connect to. And now, as you can see, we've got a subtle signal here, which if I click, jumps me right over to the connected topic. No more messy lines crisscrossing my map, just this little icon here to tell me there's a connection to another topic within the mind map. There's actually even more we can do here. Simply drag one topic and hold it temporarily over the connected topic and wait a second or two. You'll see this little change here and now there's an option to insert reciprocal link. And this is a great way to make that connection symbol visible from both locations in the mind map. So whichever area you're looking at, you can click the link and be taken over to that connected topic. So there you have it, a quick tip to help you avoid messy relationship lines in your mind manager maps by using topic linking instead. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any mind mapping questions that you need help with, then let us know in the comments below or drop us an email via biggerplate.com and we'll do what we can to help you go further with mind mapping.